Hey guys, we're back. Okay, so we are on episode 75. That's crazy. And we're going to do Escape the Field today. Um, This one's a thriller, but this is a little more complicated because I did tape it on DirecTV and I looked it up for you guys to see like where you guys could get it and uh, it's not free on the apps. So um, I will say if you're if you have a DirecTV, you can watch it there. Otherwise, you can pay uh to watch it on youtube and uh voodoo and a bunch of other ones but um i felt youtube was the most important so it's from 2022 google gives it a rating of uh 59 percent um so this is about six strangers who wake up confused how they got there in an endless cornfield maze um, they all have, um, one item, and that's eat, uh, that's it, at, uh, random. And there are traps everywhere, and as they are trying to get out, they are hunted looking for a way out. So, it's, like, a puzzle. They have to solve this, like, puzzle to get out of the maze. Um, it's, like, an endless puzzle. And there also are these, like, creatures... I don't know, spoiler alert, they're actually humans that are injected with, um, something red, and it makes them go crazy and hunt them, so, but it is just a game for people to, you know, sit back and watch and have them kill themselves, kill these people or whatever, so, um, not saying they kill them all or anything like that, I'm not giving away the ending, so anyway, Sam is played by, um, Jordan Claire Robbins, uh, Tyler is played by Theo Rossi, and Ryan is played by Shane West. Um, I just picked them, I felt like they were the three main characters, but there are others, um, but Sam and Tyler, um, for the character names were definitely the main two, I feel like, especially, um, Sam. So, I'll give my, um, warnings. I didn't write them all down, but I know them by heart. I just watched this actually last night. It was, uh, aired on DirecTV last, yesterday, and I taped it. So, it's on, I believe it was on Sci-Fi. Um, and I don't think I said how long the movie is, but it is two hours with commercials. So, I don't know. Do the math, I guess. Alright, so... Dog and cat, no. Bug, no. Um, drugs, no. Other than that, red injection, which is definitely not by choice and not a drug. Um, or not a recreational drug, I should say. Um, excess gore, no. Um, violence, yes. Death, yes. Uh, clowns, no. Vomit, I don't believe so. I'm gonna go with no. Um, there was one, one scene, I can't remember what happened, but I believe it was no. Um, and if it was, you, you don't see anything. So, I'm gonna go with no, though. Um, so blood, yes. Um, gross scenes, no. Hospital scenes, no. Mental institution scenes, no. The whole thing's really just on the cornfield that also does have some, uh, like, crazy rooms if you put puzzles together, but not, um, not regular. It's not like a regular building. So, um... Suicide was a no. The rest I didn't put down, so I'm just going to turn to my old notes and just to remind me of the things, even though I should know this by heart. But shaky cam, no. Uh, abortion, no. Rape, no. Um, sexual content, no. Nudity, no. So, I guess do the stars now? Alright, so I didn't mark down how many stars... But I'm going to go with one, two, three. We'll do three stars. Uh, because it is a movie worth um, watching. I felt like it wasn't that great. The ending, spoiler alert. This is really a spoiler alert. The ending really was um, uh, disappointing to me. But uh, that's just me. So, um, But you can also see the Google score. So, I just feel that there definitely should have been a more, um, different outcome. 
I'll put just say it like that because I don't want to ruin it completely. But um, it was a movie worth watching one time. Put it that way. But you, it, it does get a little bit um, repetitive when you're about halfway through and like it just doesn't stop and you keep thinking oh well you know this is going to change something's going to happen whatever and um no it doesn't so i will give you that as a warning that it's repetitive and their ending is not good like it's it's not because it's a not i'm not saying it's like oh everyone dies type thing like I'm not going to say anything about that. I'm just going to say that the ending is like it, it could have been more finished um, or done differently. Uh, I mean, I have an idea of how it should have ended, but I obviously can't say that because that would give away the whole ending. So, yeah, I give it my three stars. Um, check out the movie. Thanks for watching this. Feel free to give me a thumbs up, and I'll catch you on the next one.